hell of a bombardment. Somehow my company commander survives all that. I'm, I'm not complaining about. What I'd like to see is that when I don't know if it happens already, but we'll, in the game when the tech AI comes under a lot of fire, it sort of automatically retreats from direct fire. It'll be tries to find cover. It'll be nice if it kind of did that with infantry when you came under, you know, air burst attack from enemy artillery. If they kind of made their way to try and find their own cover, like they do when they take too much small arms, it would make managing infantry a bit easier. I doubt that it happened for this release. This release of combat missions coming to the end of its lifetime, I think. We might see something like that for Normandy, though. So now I'm, just, I'm starting to. The battle was, you know, starting to be joined now. I'm starting to spot enemy firing positions, enemy heavy machine guns, enemy artillery is coming down thick and thin. As you can see, there's a. There's a, that's a fire mission coming down on my AO. It's just off the map, but if that was on my AO, that would have caused numerous casualties. And it probably would have made me rage quit the scenario. <laughs> So we got infantry contacts on the uh, right flank over there. I think I've got artillery coming down on my troops now. It's not a heavy bombardment, but I mean, in real life, one of the best ways to spoil an attack is to you know break up the attack with artillery, especially in the assembly area. Fair enough, but you're not really given a choice in this mission where your units enter the map. So I don't think it's a very good scenario design. Although this is a very good scenario, otherwise, but that's that's the only thing that that I think is a poor scenario design. And if you have a look at some of the later modules, like the British module and what I've seen with the NATO module, you pretty much always start in a position. Maybe we can't see you. Just trying to bring some suppressive fires down on these enemy positions. The problem is though is that my tanks don't have a lot of heat rounds because I Particularly that section, I think, because I used quite a lot with one of my sections in the last mission. Chuck a few heat rounds into that building. Yeah, throughout the course of the mission, I um, I do throw a lot of heat rounds and a lot of suppressive fires around, but the enemy still manages to get off a lot of shots, particularly RPG shots at me. So those uh, those airborne troops, they've got very good combat discipline. So I gotta move this squad out there through bounding overwatch and those um, enemy BTRs just start ripping them up. So 
So I moved them back. I realise now that I, I sort of really need to get my platoon on the left flank in position before these guys can go anywhere. I try and move my tank up because again I think I've neutralised most of the ATGMs and I want to take out those BTRs. Tanks is going to be so pop smoke. In fact, I think it. Yeah, I think I had an ATGM fight, ATGM fight at it, and then I spot it. There's another one. So now I realise there's more than two sections of ATGMs. And my tank's kind of stuck in a ditch, but it's out of line of sight, fortunately. Hindsight, that probably wasn't the best place to move my tank with those three trench lines there. I'm just trying to find a tank with line of sight to that uh, ATGM. Tanks further up to the edge of the defilade there. Just see if I can get line of sight. Roger. I don't want to move them too far forward though because I don't want to expose their planks up to that valley on the left. At this point in time, I would have liked to have called down. I could have called down mortars on that. That um, ATGM, but I didn't realise that I got a whole bunch of more mortars when my other companies arrived. So they can't get a name point there, so I'm going to move them back. I'm not going to keep them up, up there that long, just in case. So the enemy fire missions are now coming in, you know, raining down artillery. I'm going to move this tank around and, and try and get an aim point on the ATGM firing side. As long as I have my tanks looking at the threat and their frontal armor pointing towards it, they should be able to take it out. The squad of mine on the left is obviously taking him fire because it sort of retreated into that bomb crater. bad by those BTRs. I'm realizing they're sort of pinned in that, well they can't move forward from that position until I get the other platoon from the box coming into position. Inbound for Rogers, cleared hot. Dad 1 is in the box. Rogers, cleared hot. So, they're almost in position now. I can't quite read what the time is in this preview window because it's quite a low resolution, but I think there's something like 40 minutes on the clock at the moment, which is... I haven't, I haven't even begun my main assault. So 
So, like I said, I'm not. I realise I don't have enough time to capture those objectives, so my goal now is going to be to destroy as much of the enemy as possible. Try and force them to surrender. So, their fire mission was. You know, 100 meters to the left, I would have ruined my day. We have an aim point at the ATGM site. Two heat rounds. Three heat rounds. So the enemy on that reverse, on that ridge line back there is, is firing down upon my um, platoon, so they're, they're kind of pinned, can't really move. It's not heavy fire, but if I move them they'll take casualties. My tank section on the there is running low on heat. And you hear another ATGM fire right from that position where I just you know lobbed five or six heat rounds. Maybe it's because I'm aiming at the top of that building. 